All right, so welcome back kings and queens and welcome if you're new here my name is hope king and i'm the designer behind king's designs md i just finished making the tutu for my niece you guys saw uh the tutu for two 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 uh this i was gonna say tuesday but actually i think it's wednesday <laughs> um this week and a lot of schools are doing events to celebrate kind of like a spirit week and they are having events where you can wear tutus, ties, tiaras, all that kind of thing. So I'm putting this um, elastic around. This is the elastic that I already had. Uh, cut up approximately 7 inches um, from where I make mass. And I'm just trying to get this tied and double tied. And I feel like my fingers are huge right now because they're in the way. But So I'm getting this on here. And I'm going to do pretty much the same method that I did for um the tutus but i have the nine inch elastic i'm going to cut this in half because i already cut it nine um uh, really 18 inches long because i used my template that was nine inches and wrapped it around twice and then cut it so this is probably going to be is it going to be nine inches i think it's going to be about nine inches let me measure real quick yeah nine inches i was about to confuse myself and say four and a half but no nine inches so i'm doing the same method i'm just taking the one piece of tool that's long i'm folding it in half so that it's a loop and then i am putting the loop up under the elastic and i am just pulling it through now this elastic is a little bit thinner but you still want to be careful you don't want to pull it too tight um, so that your elastic can have some room to move and I'm just going to do that same thing all the way around looping it putting it under and pulling both pieces through make sure you get both pieces or you're not going to have the look that you want and you just want to make sure it's not too tight and I'm going to go all the way around when I get done, I'll probably just slide this one down and work with the one at the top. Now, this is just a uh, candle from Dollar Tree, something I purchased a while ago. I wanted to put, put vinyl on it and just hadn't had a chance to do that. But I figured that was about a good size to use for, um, for this project. So I'm going to do it, put my loop in, try to make sure it's even, go under, and... Pull that through and like I said, leave it kind of loose so it can go all the way around. Okay, so I have one done and it sticks like way off in my opinion. But I'll let her mother decide if she wants to go around and trim them to make it shorter. She can, <laughs> but that's how big one sticks off. And that's just a no-so method to do the two-two socks. So again, I'm going to go around and do the other one and... All right, and I'm back. So I was just going around counting this. If anybody wanted to know how many that I used on that one, it looks like it was about 10 or 11 on that one. Um, so I have three in my hand, four. So once I cut them in half, that's eight right here. So just so you guys know, if you wanted to know how many it's going to take to go around and do them, um, it's about 10. all right so i have both socks done if you saw a little something in my candle it was just a piece of cardboard don't be alarmed <laughs> um but so both of these socks are done it, like i said if my sister wants to cut them off and make them shorter they'll probably still be cute short or if she don't want to wear them at all that's fine but we have this little socks that will go on and the tutu that i did earlier so I hope that helps somebody. This is just a fun little um, thing you can do for this week. Two, two, two is coming on Wednesday. So you guys remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And you have a great day. If you don't feel like um, making a meaningful comment or you really feel like you don't have much to say, just drop a crown in the, in the comment section so I know you're here. But thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.